but our idea, but we have still to test it and to discuss it with the, uh, with the World Health Organization and other players in the field, we would like that this knowledge becomes a, uh, a health diagnostic unit where we would uh, uh, recognize at early stage if somebody has a diarrhea, if somebody has diseases which can be observed by censoring from urine, a, uh, enrich the use of this toilet with additional a value, which is directly related with the measurable societal impact on, a, on a public health. Just use my my feet. This is your poop. Now it's locked. We are what is his weight? Okay, okay. Yeah. 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 Then this is demonstration, and now we can see here when, when, when he dropped the thing, what I just explained there, and we know exactly now how long the uh, under stay there, uh, the weight of this thing, when he discharged the, the bag, uh, when he was uh, throwing the water in, and uh, imagine this happens 50, 60 times. This toilet can, this one can survive, I think, for, uh, for about 100 uses, uh, 150 uses. It has a volume here of 80 liters of urine and probably about uh, 100 kilo of feces. It shouldn't be too heavy so that people can take it yeah. out. So probably we'll, we, will, we can fix the level at 70% uh, that two, two persons can manipulate that for, for uh, experimental purposes. And Fiona will take care about the operational cost of that. Now you can see, you can go around and you can see the, the features and uh, ask our, our uh, uh, partners, uh, designer, where, where, are, where is the, Robert, Robert. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, so you can ask them, you can ask Ahmed, myself, uh, Fiona, Josip, uh, anybody from the group, Hineke, Hector, feel free to, to yeah. see it. <clears throat>